Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me is a familiar scene from uh, over the last couple months. We've been doing a lot of work on several different types of tender trailers, and each one of them have their own unique little features, and this one carries that same song and dance. So let's get this camera turned around and dive into this custom tender trailer. So this particular build is a little different, just like they all are. Um, this customer had two trailers. One trailer, the tanks on it were good, but the chassis was pretty well shot. The other trailer was this trailer that you see here. It didn't have anything on it. It was just kind of sitting in the shed, wasn't being used much. Really nice, well-built, heavy-duty trailer. His tanks were still good, but he wanted some extra features to go along with it. So he said, Adam, I'm gonna bring you both trailers, use your overhead crane, lift my tanks off my old trailer, and mount them down to this trailer. So <clears throat> that's exactly what we're doing. We've got the hoops bolted down here to the frame rail, <clears throat> and we're starting to customize the liquid side this one's being plumbed two inch <clears throat> so we've got our remote controlled electric hose reel right here that's pretty well standard on every tender trailer is a hose reel of some sort <clears throat> from there we've got our inductor mixing cone with everything plumbed in right here it's going to be plumbed in direct to that hose reel honda motor with a john blue pump and again this pump is going to be set up like most of them are anymore it will have the ability to fill each tank on the trailer and also of course pump off <coughs> that stuff into your sprayer just by turning a few extra knobs he did want a hand wash a clean water hand wash system this tank we mount it right over that pump region to be able to maximize space <clears throat> but that will have a 12 volt electric pump tied to it with an electric switch and it will rinse out the inductor to clean the jugs and it will also have a uh, mechanical hose reel uh, to be able to have a, a sprayer to spray down your boots or your hands and everything like that. It'll be so handy to be able to have fresh water on board on demand. <clears throat> now. A lot of guys go crazy over those Demco steps that they mount up front. But have you seen this one? There was a couple demands with this trailer. And one of them was that we had to have a nice, clean, easy to use step and handrail. <clears throat> and look at this thing. It folds down, reaches almost all the way to the ground. Has got a easy to use handrail to get up here to the top. Excuse the mess, because this is still much under construction. There's our electric pump mounted right there to the tank bracket for cleaning. That'll be pretty handy when that gets plumbed up. Of course, we're gonna run this plumbing down under the deck. We're gonna cut holes in the deck, run the hoses underneath there. Same with that front tank right there. But look at that custom made ladder and handrail. <clears throat> That thing is sweet. Folds up <clears throat> out of the way when you're not using it. Look at that. That thing is sweet. <clears throat> um, back here is another large piece of the puzzle, the tote rack. Um, this one, you can see it's angled downward a little bit. <clears throat> and that's not because our levels were off. Uh, that's so that those totes will fully drain. We're gonna load them here from the side Again, we've got our hinges put on here. We're going to have the swinging doors to be able to shut and lock these. This is where your handles and valves will be for the port, and that will be leaning <clears throat> this way so that it fully drains. Here's the, the gates to be able to shut those totes in and, and lock them down. So this, once it gets powder coated, will then get bolted fast down to the trailer frame. <clears throat> you can see we've got this channel in here so you can slide 
and there's a stop right there. Well thought out, well built. It'll be really nice. That tote rack's gonna sit right up there, right behind that front tank. So gonna be a lot of cool features on this tender trailer, but <clears throat> I wanted to highlight this one specifically because doesn't take a new trailer to create a tender trailer. You can always use an old one as well. So that's what we're doing today on this build. And thanks for tuning in.